Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am fighting with one of my GE Tech A10 printers. Friends, I need a little help, so let's get cracking. All right, friends, so I'm going to visit the Marlin GitHub, and when I get there, I want to switch to what's called Bug Fix 2.0. I've seen this used with my GE Tech printer, so this is what I prefer. To get the current code as it is, I'm going to hit the code button and just choose download and I'm going to put it in my downloads folder and then let it save. I am also going to return to the Marlin firmware page and I want to get the configurations. This is a super slick way to make it fit your printer in just a couple steps. My first step is to switch to bug fix and then I'm gonna download those configurations once again I'm gonna put them in downloads you can see I did it once already but I'm just gonna save it with the one they have finished downloading so I'm gonna show in folder and then I'm going to right click and I'm gonna unzip them here I'm also gonna do that for the configurations 7 zip and extract here so let's scroll up and find the folder here are my configurations when you go in here look for your configs examples and then find the printer you're playing with I am playing with an a10 copy those and then I'm gonna go to that firmware folder so I'm gonna back up to downloads and then my firmware folder is right here Marlin bug fix in the Marlin folder there is a configuration H and a configuration advanced I am going to delete those I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste my new ones all right friends so I use these exact same steps with my a10m worked like a champ my a10 that's fighting with me no such luck watch this let's launch VSC Whenever VSC launches, make sure you let it do its updates. I'm going to just hit reload. Then I'm going to close this folder because I'm doing a different one now. And now that it's done its reload, let's do file open folder. Once again, I'm going to find my downloads. And let's go to that Marlin bug fix. Stop at this location. Do not go past this. And hit select folder. When it loads, you can see I've got the platform I.O., so I am in the right spot. As it populates, let it double check, rebuild, and do all its things. It's good to not hurry. And then when it's ready, you can open Marlin and click on your configuration H. Notice the example shows that it's for the GE Tech A10. I'm going to scroll down, and I want to change my name. To Mike's A10 and that's the only thing I'm gonna change I've got the check marks so I'm ready to build when I hit build everything is going swimmingly until the very end I've done this on three different PCs now I've downloaded multiple times and every single time it ends with this error right here the command line is too long if I take the exact same bug fix and I bring in the a10m configuration works like a champ throw in this one and boom I get that error I'm assuming somebody's got an answer for me as to what I've got wrong here if you can hook me up I'd totally appreciate it Alrighty, friends, so there is where I'm stuck. Of course, if somebody helps me fix it, I will share those steps with you. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you have a question, comment, or that suggestion I need, please add it down below if you haven't subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.